made my first um, big decisions about the design and how I'm going to go about doing this. So this is 90 inches this way. It's folded over on itself um, on the 66 inch dimension. So this is approximately 33 inches across there. Um, I measured my wife from the nape of her neck and from her collarbone uh, down to her ankle. So that measurement was 52 inches. Um, and I, I watched a couple of videos and people were measuring for cloaks and 52 inches. I mean, and the, some used the collarbone, some used the nape of the neck to see where it hung. Um, so 90 inches this way. I've got it folded over on the 66 inch part. So it'll be 66 inches wide. Her measurement was 52, but I'm going to give myself um, a couple more inches just to be on the safe side because we can always make it shorter um, so I measured it 52 let's take it to 54 so I have some uh, I don't know what this is I think it's the chalk used for mar marking cloth actually that my wife gave me so I'm gonna mark this at 54 right here and then we're going to move to the other side and mark it here at 54 and then we're going to measure twice and cut once hopefully hopefully I don't ruin this and have to reorder this fabric and wait on it to get in again and then so here's 54 on this side. I mean, it's approximate. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a bushcraft top for God's sake. 54. So, there's that mark. There. And let me, I'm going to check this other side again just to be certain. I'm happy that that is 54. I'm going to put this on um, the other side here too. And then now I need a straight edge to go across all of that. And I know she has one over here, but I don't know where. I mean, I guess I could really just use anything. Like, what is this? Man, I don't know what all she's got in here. This looks like some kind of cutting board, but it's exactly, it says mat cutter. So, but it's exactly the size that I need it to be. So, if I take that, let's see how this works out. Did I get a good line there? Oh, look how pretty that is. Now, do I trust that it's folded well enough to just cut along that? Now that I have my line, I think I'm just going to cut with it folded. I'm not going to try to get it perfect on both sides. This will be the main body of the cloak. This will be at her neck. That will be at her feet. And then it will be 66 um, around. So, And then the hood. Um, and I'm thinking about putting some secret pockets inside the cloak. So uh, with this fabric I have left up here, we'll do the hood. And I, I saw some designs that are like 22 inches by 17 inches and you just kind of make a curve and then sew it all together and put it on. So that's what we're going to try for. Now, here is me hopefully not ruining this blanket. I'm 
a little bit. We're almost done here. And this, I think I did a pretty good job here. If I do say so myself. That looks like a pretty straight line. Um, we're off to a good start. Alright, so the hood and pockets will come out of this top material when I decide what kind of hood I'm going to end up doing, which I haven't yet. I have an idea, but I haven't fully decided on the hood. But I think I have decided on my first steps with the cloak. And then, because this was a blanket, the cool thing about this being a blanket, the the edges are surged all the way around. So normally when you make something like this, you would have to hem the cloth to keep it from, you know, the ends coming out. But because these blankets are surged all the way around, this is all I have to hem now and worry about. And then, because I'm going to put 550 cord through there to draw up, I won't even have to worry about that. Alright, so the next step will be getting a piece of 550 cord that is longer than 66 because at first it'll have to go all the way around and then I'm going to fold this down over the 550 cord to make that channel. So we'll fold that like an inch down there and pin that all the way around over the 550 cord, sew it, and then the body of that will we'll, we'll see how it falls. Like, I'll put it on and I'll draw it, I'll cinch it up with the 550 cord. The, the reason I wanted to keep this and not cut it into a shape is because with this laid out this way and the 550 cord drawing it up, you can still use this as a blanket. This is still, my goal for this is that after I make it, it's still a fully functional used, uh, fully functional wool blanket. Now, granted, it's it's not as long, um, but it, it's still 66. I'm I'm five nine. That's 69 inches. So this is still plenty of cloak for you know. This is still quite a bit of blanket left. So and she's she's about the same height, but so you have your your cloak, but it's still a fully functional wool blanket. All right, that's the plan, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh -huh.